everybody to 901. My name is Terrence, and this is my lovely wife. Ashley, hey, how are you guys doing? Yeah, we uh, here at KA for the first time, and it's been a blast. All right, so uh, learned a lot about uh, youth ministry you and about connecting right with the Lord. And I uh, met a brother from the M-Town, Mr. John. Uh, learned a lot from him as well. So uh, it's been a great time. Uh, continue to serve the Lord. And I hope y'all come to KA too. How long y'all been married now? We've been married three months. In 13 days. In 13, In 13 days. days. 13 days. You say something, wife. Um, well, uh, the Lord is the only thing that will sustain you. So put your hope in Him, not anybody else, not your husband, not your friends, not your grandma, grandpa, mom, dad. Put it, all your hope in the Lord, and He will never let you down, I promise. Thank you so much. Where y'all living at now? Uh, we're living in Dallas, Texas. So oh. we're doing ministry there with One Community Church. But well, we love Memphis. We love Memphis. We love Memphis. We love the 901. It taught us a lot. It taught me almost everything I know. So. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, Persuaders. Hey, I'm here, James Hurst. I'm from Des Moines, Iowa, representing CFC, The Hype. And I just want to tell you all about KAA. It is going on. I was a first time Kaleo here. And I had two kids here for the first time. And let me tell you, they have been impacted. I have been impacted. And if you have not been to KAA, you need to start thinking about making plans that you can get here it will change your life. God bless you. Good. Kids across America, um, as a first time, Kaleo, what I can say about this experience has been awesome. If you're looking somewhere for your youth to attend, to grow spiritually, and even if you're looking for your youth ministry workers to be stretched and come outside of the box, this is a great place for them. Um, some of the activities that we've been involved in throughout the course of the week has challenged us physically and has also stretched us spiritually. So if you're looking for somewhere for your youth ministry to grow, Kids Across America is the place for you. How y'all doing? My name is Solomon Brown. I'm originally from Mississippi, now living in Wichita Falls, Texas. My experience here at um, KA is great. Met some very good young men who um, has taught me well and the kids here. Um, they need us and we're here for them. And if you're thinking about coming here, I'm going to say don't think no more. Just come on here and you got some men here that will put you on the right path. This is my first year of many years to come. Okay? Talk to you later. Steve Lattimore from Indianapolis. KAA, you know this is where you need to be. There is no better camp where your kids can come in order to meet Jesus. This mountain is special. You need to get them out. Not need to. You must do it. Next year, 2016, I'll see you here. Session 7, KAA, you know. KAA, my name is Mark Jones. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm -hmm. KAA, can't say enough about it. Every youth, I think, at some point in their life definitely should come and be a part of this. It's a life-changing experience, and if you're serious about your ministry and, and building a relationship and helping the youth, this is a place to come. You learn as an adult, but it's rare. Uh, over the last few days, I've seen numerous amounts of youth give their life to Christ, and that's what it's really all about. So KAA, I'm looking forward to uh, a second and a third and a fourth and fifth year. I say try to help every child you can come to this camp. I'm here with two young guys. Give me your name first. Rashad Robinson. All right, and what's your Donnie name? Donnie Heim. What? Donnie Heim. Okay, and where are you all from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Both from Dallas, Texas. I hear yes, you. Y'all Cowboy fans or not? Oh, you know it. Oh, I'm no. a Cowboys fan. Cowboys all day. Uh -oh. 49ers fan. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm started as I, I, I like to cause it up a little bit. I'm still a little trouble. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we're here. We going to get back to what we hear kids across America. Yes, sir. Uh, yep. What kind of time y'all been having here? I've been having a pretty great time. I like what they do with the kids, how they keep them engaged. You know, everybody's out here having fun and just really, you know, it's a great experience. Something I wish I would have went to as a kid and just, you know, you can just tell everybody out here is growing, is learning to love Christ. Even some of the kids that came out and may have been reserved a little bit, they're just really growing and just being out there. So it's great. Okay, what about you? I'm gonna piggyback with Rashad said. I mean, I look at me, I wish I had something like this growing up. I just see the interaction just with our kids and, you know, the time that they're having and just the way God's moving in their lives. I love a lot of the activities that they have set up for the kids. It's not only them getting a chance to encounter and learn about Christ more, but it's through different physical activities. It gives them different avenues to be able to do that, not only connect with Christ, but also with other kids too, which I think is important. You get other, other brothers in, in Christ to kind of unite with, so I think that's great too. And not only that, but with the kids, and I mean, I look at us too, 
It's given us a chance to kind of unite us leaders within the ministry because a lot of times you don't necessarily get a whole lot of time outside because of work and scheduling and stuff like that. So giving us like a full week to kind of get to know one another too. So I think it's just been a full circle just with us and then with the kids. It's just been a great experience. Yes, sir. So, so what's the name of the ministry you all away? One Community Church. Okay, One Community. Y'all brought quite a few kids here, didn't you? Yes, sir. We had a pretty good amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we cover. So I mean, we're I mean, our church is in Plano, but we cover yeah. Plano, Frisco, Dallas, McKinney, just a lot of the whole County. Dallas, Fort Worth area. So yeah. yeah, we have a lot of kids that come to our Definitely. church. Okay, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, man, it's a blessing to see young guys like you getting in, staying involved with ministry because you know uh, young people affect other young people. You know, and the closer you all are to those guys' age, yeah. they're more effective that y'all able to minister to them. Yes, Thank sir. God, y'all keep that heart that God has given y'all to work yes, with sir, young people. I appreciate it. So don't throw it away. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about. It's all about discipling. You know, you gotta, you gotta get ready for the next, you know, the next generation. You know, we had people that, you know, tapped into our lives and brought us up, and you know, that's part of our responsibility to set up the next generation to where we just continue that cycle and we just keep it going on. So oh, okay. That's part of what we need to do. Well, Absolutely. thank you, thank you all so much. Thank You're you. Welcome, Josh. All right. The week you was on on television. You have a new book out. Is that right? Yes. God's yeah. gonna make you laugh. God's gonna make you laugh. And it's interesting because it was born out of Sarah laughing at uh -huh. the enormity of God's promise. Okay. So the promise was so great in the visionary stage uh -huh. that she just laughed because yeah. it was absurd to her that at her age mm -hmm. God could do something for her. Mm -hmm. But the key to the book mm -hmm. is not just laughing at the enormity of the promise initially, okay. but being able to laugh between the time of the vision and the time of the fulfillment Ooh, okay. because that's the difficult time. That's a difficult time yeah. in between that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And laughing through that. Laughing through that. I got to go and get that book. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you got to connect to the principles of God. Praise God. I appreciate it. All right, we're still here yes. at the Stella Awards. Oh, look at we with Isaiah. Tell me. <laughs> Now, what did you win that one for? You won one last yeah, year? Yeah, man. I tell you, to God be the glory, we won this year for uh, Contemporary Choir of the Year. Praise God. Yeah, we had a group called Elements of Praise, mm -hmm. and uh, they just not singing to do records, but they really minister. Mm -hmm. And so uh, over 10 years of ministering and singing, um, this is a reward, and uh, we give God all the glory. Praise God. Man, God has really blessed you to write some great man. songs. Wow. You're part of such a great ministry, man. Yes. And I know many people want to get to the level, you know, that you are. Well, give sure. some kind of suggestion that people who would like to get involved in gospel music think they need to consider? Absolutely. Well, one, man, one, you, you really don't know what you go through mm -hmm. or what you have to go through mm -hmm. when you are um, uh, want to be in the limelight. A lot comes with that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, stay focused, stay committed to what God has given you, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, it will pay off. Praise God. Thank yes, you sir. so much. You're, God bless you, God man. God bless you, man. Look, with no, none other than the legendary Ricky Diller. How you doing, man? I'm blessed and highly favored. Praise God. You know, I heard about the tragedy that happened to you on last year that, you know, and God has blessed you since then. Oh, God has done great things, awesome things, and I want to say thank you to uh, Minister Daryl Pettis and to all of the artists uh, in Memphis who rallied together mm -hmm. to uh, celebrate as well as to encourage and uplift me in that time uh, of the Testings that the Lord had allowed me to go through, and uh, Memphis came together Praise with God. Pastor uh, Kevin Davidson mm -hmm. and, and Pam Armour oh, and, yeah. and the radio stations. Yeah, and there. Everybody, everybody yeah. rallied together just Praise to support God. and hold my arms up. And I send much love Praise to all of y'all out there. Praise God! Thank God for you, man. And I just appreciate you've been listening to your music for years, man. And you just been one of the pioneers of this Thank whole you. thing. And, and, and you know, with the choir and the yes. group, man. And, yes. and and men, um, they they I can see them mimicking you. But you know. But that's a blessing. That it is. It really that, that, is. That, that is really a blessing. That God will give us a signature that people love and enjoy mm -hmm. and uh, want to also mimic. And, um, you know, that's fine with me yeah, that's because okay. that lets me know that we're doing something good. Praise God. I thank you for giving me a brief a moment here at the Stella Awards. Certainly. Praise God. Look, I just want you to say something to my audience. Many artists are always trying to get started. Okay. And they start on the wrong foot. You know, give, give them sure. some kind of way of advice. Sure. What they well, I always uh, say that to every promise that God gives us, there is a condition uh -huh. and one of the scriptures that uh, always comes to my mind for any new artist is that to delight yourself in the Lord okay. and he will then give you the desires of your heart you cannot receive the desire of your heart until you go through the condition to receive that promise and that is to delight yourself praise God. if you delight yourself in him then he will give you the desires of your heart praise God thank you thank you Mr. Still. Thank, you. thank you thank you I appreciate it.
like Memphis, they call me Lexus, like like the car. Oh, they do. But but my grandmother calls me Lexi. Lexi. Because my real name is Alexis. Alexis. And my grandmother started calling. Well, my real name is Alexis. Alexis. And uh, my grandmother started calling me Lexi when I was a kid. So okay. that kind of just stuck. Okay, and that's how you know you know I you know I go back when you did that first video, I believe, when you had the little singing mouth and all those. <laughs> I heard that Long video time back ago. in 1990 or Yes, sir, and I was a child. I was yeah, only two was years old then. And you, you know, you were yes. pretty then, and you just as beautiful oh, now. Oh, thank you so you. much. You know thank what, you. I thank you so much for giving me a few moments during oh, this time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Are, are you, let me see, do you have a new project coming up? Well, now? you know, I do not have a new one coming up, but the, I'm, I'm pumping up uh, the What Heaven Hears album. You can get it anywhere, any Walmart, Best Buy, anywhere, any Christian bookstore where you buy your records. Mm -hmm. Support me. You can go online and get it on iTunes, whatever you want to do. All right. Thank you so much. Thank here. you so God much. You here. Thank you. Right. Memphis, have Marvin Sapp. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey. Grace and peace, Memphis. <laughs> I'm going to say hi to Uncle Chris, too. He know who he is. You know who he is. Yep. And, and, and my dear, all of them. It's all, great. All, all of them know you, huh? Yep. That's my mother-in-law, uh, my, my father-in-law's uh, people, my, my, my wife's grandmother and stuff. They live in Memphis. Thank you, Marvin Sapp, for giving me a minute, just yep. a second. Now, you can give me 15 seconds. That's I it. thank God for you. Never could make it. Give me a piece of that. Oh no, see okay, you I'll, asked the too many things. Okay, okay, take you just a wanted me to talk. Thank you. Now you want me to sing and uh, say, uh, never would have made it. Oh, God bless right. you. Memphis, praise God. I love you all so much. There's a lot of great talent down here, down here, getting all that southern hospitality. I love you all so much. And remember, you got victory, so you can stand out. All right, thank you. Bless you, man. Right, take and I just got through singing like with Billy Rivers uh -huh. and, the, and the Angelic Voices, and I love them, mm -hmm. and I love Memphis. All right. You're a beautiful lady. Thank you. Know that? you. Thank you. I thank you so much. And you know, you, the songs that you've been putting out have just been blessing our heart down through the years. And t tell my audience, for many of those that want to get into music, some things they need to be reminded of. Just always keep God first in your life. Work in the church, give God some of your time, and when he gets ready to truly bless you and take you higher, he will do that. All right, thank you so much, Donna. You're welcome. All right. God bless. God bless. I got Ooh, you turned it out up in there. Thank you so much. Spirit. Spirit. So when you told us to throw our hands back, I felt the power of yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. Now tell us something about your music and what God is doing through you. Okay, I'm Kathy Taylor. I'm, I reside in Houston, Texas. We have a new CD coming out uh, the second week in March. It's called Kathy Taylor Live. You can get it on kathytaylorlive.com. Uh, just, just lock into us and uh, be blessed by the Lord. It's not so much me, but I want you to hear the Christ in me. Praise God. Praise God, God bless you. You continue to sing like you sing. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, I'm with Angela Christie. Angela Christie. Angela Christie. I'm right. sorry, That's Angela. Okay. That's all right. Sorry. That's all right. Messed it up. Twist it. <laughs> but anyway, look here. How do you feel being, you know, uh, years ago, you know, only the guys were growing a saxophone. Right. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did you break into that? Was it a challenge? Or it, it really wasn't. People ask that. And, you know, I just didn't know that uh, a saxophone was a man's instrument. Okay. I just thought it was an instrument. That's good. And uh, so my mother introduced me to it. Uh -huh. And it became my voice. Like most people sing, I opted to play. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. I have, it fits me like a glove. Evidently, the Lord had predestined for me to do this. That's really good. And he's given me the agility and the breath to, you know, maintain it and keep going forward. That's really wonderful. Now, I mean, do you, now, since you decided to blow the saxophone, you said you was playing some other type of instrument? I was playing guitar and piano, actually, before I started playing the saxophone. Now, I heard you say something else up there. You want to be a what kind of star? A rock star. A rock star. I loved rock and roll. I don't know where it came from, but you I probably did. still like rock and roll, don't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> You'll hear a little bit of it on my new CD. Too. Okay, tell us something about your new CD. Well, my new CD has um, several cover tunes, about five, okay. and then I have five originals. Now, the ones that are cover tunes are things that people will know, okay. so that the saints can sing out of melody okay. of their heart hearing okay. the songs, okay. like the Dew in the Morning. Okay. Uh, I'm still here. Yeah. Um, I redid Total Praise. That is just oh, absolutely awesome. Yeah. We've come this far by faith. Remember that? Oh, yes. Leaning on the Lord. We used to march in on that. We used to march in, you know, the years ago. We're going well, way we, back now. We put then. a nice little new groove on it, so okay. I think people are going to really love it. A fabulous project coming out. Now, how can people get in contact with you? Oh, they can visit my website at www.angelachristie.com. And if they can't remember that, just put in female gospel saxophone. It's Google me, you'll find me. All right, because you want to the few? Oh, the only? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Look here. For people that want to get into the music industry, give them some way of advice. You know, people want to get into the gospel music industry. Be it a singer or, or an artist. I mean, or 
a musician? Mm -hmm. I would suggest, first of all, that they be involved in their local church. Okay. Uh, you get your best experience mm -hmm. singing gospel or playing gospel mm -hmm. in church. Okay. Um, and then to develop the word in your life so mm -hmm. that you would have something to offer the people besides music. Mm -hmm. What makes gospel music or the gospel music industry so unique is that we're all trying to sell or to encourage or deliver the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. So if you can sing and you can play and you don't know the Lord, yeah. Don't come into the gospel yeah. music industry. That's right. Go ahead out there and do something else. Yeah, until yes. yeah, you get your heart right exactly. with God. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you I for appreciate having me. It. And thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. God, God bless you. you. Love you all. I love you too. All right. all right. We're still here at the Stella Awards, and I'm with LP. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. man, look here. I've heard about your project. Tell us something about your project. Uh, well, the name of the album is Testimony. Testimony. You know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, it is what it is. You know, it's just the things that I've been through, the things that I've overcome, mm -hmm. trials, triumphs, all that other good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the album definitely is a life changer album. I just want to encourage everybody to go and get it. Okay. Now, now the album is directed primarily toward, is it urban? and got the hip hop or just what? Well, you know, it's rap. You it's know rap. what I'm saying? It is what it is. You <laughs> okay. feel me? I'm letting y'all know right now. You okay. know, it's rap music. Amen. And, you know, the thing of it is, man, uh, what, I've, what I've come to see, if you look in the world right now, mm -hmm. the number one music that has, that has infiltrated our you know, world everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rap music. Yes, right. So it's like the number one influence right now. So mm -hmm. what better way than to present the gospel? Yeah. And, and that's the way God has given you to present it. Right. And I mean, the young people today won't listen to music. Right. Unless it is. All right, case that's sad, is missed. That's a sad reality. <laughs> <laughs> but man, that's wonderful. I can't wait to get that video. Okay, okay. And we will be airing it on the show. Most and definitely. Thank you so much. Look here, we have young people that want to get in gospel music. Give them some kind of encouraging words of what they need to do or consider if they want to get in the music industry. Okay, first of all, I want to tell you, you know, make sure your priorities are right. You know, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added. You know what I'm saying? Then make sure your motives are right. You know, God said, if you have not because you ask not, you ask and receive not because you ask amiss. Your motive's wrong. Then you got to have your attitude together. You got to love people. You got to take care of people. God love his people. So if you do those things, I guarantee God will continue to bless you and bless you and bless you and uplift you in this genre of music. Praise God. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Most definitely. God bless you. God bless you. Pain, and we're here with none other than Percy Bailey. You yes, know, sir. this is the man that have written some of the greatest gospel tunes today. Yes, sir. And plenty of them, too. Yes, sir. You know, uh, I know you wrote for the uh, Thompson Community Singers. Yes, that's sir. Where, that's where you got your star. That's where I got my you star. You know, I had you to name off some of those tunes, but I want you to name off some of them tunes. Okay. For my um, well, let's see. Jesus is a rock. He'll make it all right. There's no way. There is hope. There's no failure in God. Uh, he cares for you. Ooh, in my name, mm. shout. All of those were with Milton Bronson. Mm. And then I did some stuff also with BB and CC Winans, Hold Up the Light, Love Said Not So. And then with the Winans, Love Has No Color, mm -hmm. Marvin Sapp, Grace and Mercy. Um, I believe Donnie McClurkin again, you know, all of those. You know. Okay. Well, I tell you what, look here. I really appreciate your name. They're telling me to wrap it up already. Okay. Already, man. Already, man. already. I just yes. got started. But I thank you, person, for giving me a few minutes. Oh no, man. And, and I'm gonna have to get you to do a drop for me. Sure. Here yeah. with the Red Club. Uh, Look at I am so excited. And, and you are one tonight. Yes. Artist of the year. Artist of the year. Oh, oh my God. There was just so many categories. And we just thank God for this opportunity to be able to accept these awards. Um, it just lets us know that the people really love us. After all the years that we have not recorded and then to come back. And God has given us a good producer, Donald Lawrence. So it's been it's been um, really uplifting to know that God has really uh, brought us through this far. Praise God! Thank yes. you for this. And, and I know other people are waiting yes. on you right now. But look here, give give the people out here some kind of character words that they can use in the sense of those that want to get into gospel music. In. Well, I think it's important that we um, understand that uh, first and first and foremost is that we uh, make sure we have a church home um, and making sure we stay in the Word of God that keeps the life spiritual your life fed um, not only that but then the songs as well it really kind of rejuvenates you to really get through some of the bad times that we've experienced and you're going to have some ups and downs but when you know that who you put your trust in that God is able to bring you through it that that gives you hope and so we just thank you so much and uh, we just want to say that um, may God's speed be with you and all that you do and this year be the best year of your life Amen. thank you so much John Payne, and we're still here at the Stella Awards, and I'm with...
Pastor Wes Morgan. Pastor Wes Morgan. Tell yes. us something about your project. I heard your testimony earlier. Yeah, my project is uh, is in stores now. It's called Look at Me Now. And it's, uh, it's a project that is full of hope, deliverance, and letting people know. I wrote the songs to let people know that no matter how many people give up on you, no matter what you go through, God can still step into your life and turn it around. No matter how bad it is, no matter how, how low you are, how many people giving up on you, God is a God of miracles, and He can step in and make a miracle out of a mess. Praise God. That's what the that's what the project's about. I want people to understand that it's not just the people who grow up in the ghetto, grow up with no good mother and dad in the home, unhealthy environments at home, but it's even preachers' kids that go astray sometimes. Yeah. And, and, and and the truth is, is that you can't blame it on your past or where you grow up. The that's truth right. is, that you got to make a good decision. You got to get the right people around you. Choose the right people, and you got to go for what God has for you. Praise God. You know what? You need to go out and get this project. And I heard you said you was a preacher. Uh, kid. Yes, sir. And, and, and may God continue to bless you in your efforts and your ministry. I receive your, that. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Thank God for you, sir. God bless you, sir. Cause I created you from nothing but dust 